بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور نیکسٹ لیب از اباؤٹ ایڈاس ماڈل میکر اور ٹائم لائن فار ٹو ڈیز لیب از فرسٹ وی ول انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از بیسیکلی اے جی آئی ایس اور ریموٹ سینسنگ ماڈل وی ول گیٹ این انٹروڈکشن ٹو ایڈاس ماڈل میکر انٹرفیس وی ول ٹرائی ٹو میک سمپل ماڈلس اینڈ دین وی ول بی میکنگ لینڈ واٹر سیپریشن ماڈل اینڈ فائنلی وی ول بی کنکلوڈنگ اور لیب As a first step, you have to start EDAS Imagine and open up your data set by opening the raster layer. Now once your data is open, for example, I have this Iknos image of uh, named Kola Iknos 2000 multispectral image. It has four bands, right? And in this exercise, we will be working more on EDAS model maker and uh, see that how edas model maker can be used for remote sensing studies i have opened up a manual here uh, the first thing what a model maker is basically edas model maker that is uh, graphical modeling it basically allows you uh, to draw models using tools you can define your input functions and output right so in erdas model maker it is very similar as you have drawn the flow charts now uh, there are a lot of functions available a lot of operators available we, which we, we will be using in this lab and uh, this graphical model modeling that uh, is uh, in erdas it is very easy and it can be edited it can be programmed and it can be rerun on other data set right we will see once we make a model that how we can change simply a data set and the function uh, that remains the same and we can change the output name and run the model so uh, essential element of the model you must have an input image you must have some function and uh, you must have some output image right so edas model maker it stores your file with dot gmd extension right so uh, the advantage of creating any gis or remote sensing model uh, we do not have to repeat that process again and again we create a workflow for our study and graphical modeling that is in a das model maker when you use these tools to make some model that is meant by graphical modeling in the next step we will be uh, uh, exploring the interface of a das model maker now <clears throat> the next step is to explore the uh, model maker and uh, let go back to this edas window and go back to the toolbox section and click on model maker wait for a couple of seconds till the model maker window opens okay here it is now this model maker window uh, we studied that it allows you to uh, draw different types of models now the first this window it has a file menu in which you can uh, open up new or uh, create a new open an existing model save a model and similarly you can edit the model and uh, you can set the cell size projections similarly you can add text you can run the process and generate a script as well for programmers or for those who are interested in coding they can generate a script right and help menu and similarly here the file menu similarly here you have the cut option and here you have to display the tool palette now the important thing here uh, if you let's open this pdf here as well okay here some tools they are defined for example this one was select element raster and this is the select element tool this is creating raster tool and similarly you have a vector matrix table scalar object and function and connect and similarly you can add descriptive text to your model right so as a first step let's uh, create a basic model here i have to input my raster layer here i have to input my function and here i have to define my output and using this tool just hold it and drag it and stop it at right here just hold it drag it and stop it at right here 
now in this tool what you can do is just browse to your imagery declare it as integer or float for the purpose of your study and click ok <clears throat> now once you have inputted your imagery second thing you can do is to define any type of function which is available over here and then you can uh, generate an output right so let's uh, design some basic model for example I want that my near infrared band must be uh, divided by 100 right I want some values <clears throat> all the NIR values they will be divided by 100 now <clears throat> let's uh, save it as an output name uh, cola NIR by 100 and click ok declare the type as float if you want ok now this is a simple model that divides my NIR band with 100 right so I just have to execute it when the process is completed my output image will be showing me the DN values of near infrared band divided by 100 right till the process is completed if we let's see how we can edit this model once okay first open the image which we have just created okay here is some image that is the fourth band that was NIR I divided it by 100 now it is showing me uh, this type of display if I click on its metadata and go to the pixel values I will have uh, all the fourth band values divided by 100 right so you can explore it over here go to the pixel data and you can see that the fourth band values are now divided by 100 so this is a way you create some model once you have created a model just save it and the next time you open it just change your input imagery right specify the type if the function remains the same okay this is simple if there are complex function so your function will remain the same just change the output imagery so this is a way to create a simple model and uh, to uh, change or edit the model so in the next section we will be creating some complex model okay let's now create a model that separates water from land in this imagery right so uh, before we want to separate land from water let's go back to the erdas environment and use this inquire tool now just uncheck this and select this imagery now you can see that land and water right if i move to this land and note down the values in all the layers right and then i move this cursor to here and note down the values in all the bands so i noticed that in layer 4 i think it is showing a major difference right so that band can be used to separate these two right okay what we have to do now we have to go to erdas model maker specify our input declare it as float and okay next what we have to do is to go to the function now uh, i noticed here that in band 4 my water values they are between 0 and 130 right you can uh, explore this by moving the cursor and uh, just click on this imagery and move the cursor right you will notice that these values are between the range i mentioned in my this word file they are between for example 0 130 and land values they are uh, majority of them they are greater than 130 now i noted this threshold similarly if you have a different data set you can inquire and note down the values of water and land okay <clears throat> the next thing uh, we have to define the function right so uh, in this case there is a function in conditional section which is named as either let's see that whether this function exists or not here it is conditional and here is a function either right just erase what you have written first and click on either now in this either right how to interpret this either function basically is that if a condition is satisfied whatsoever here you have written 
the output will be 1 and if the condition is not satisfied the output will be 0 right so uh, we will make this function just move the cursor before a and type select 1 here right similarly just move the cursor before the t here and specify your band 4 here right now once you have done this just type less than 130 less than 130 and just type before the argument to a before a move your cursor and select 0 otherwise now let's check this condition is okay it is must to check the brackets right in some cases you get error due to uh, brackets right so it is less than 130 or 0 otherwise just click ok and specify your output here now in my case uh, just name it for example land water mask lw mask and ok declare the type as float double ok make sure the input type is in float in this case integer will work also and now execute your model once the model has been executed successfully we will see the output ok the model has been uh, run successfully now what we have to do is to go to the raster layer opening and just select land water mask now in this land water mask we can see that our water has been separated based on the condition we have specified so this is a method how to create a model and uh, how to uh, create some complex model like this we have done land water mask similarly if you have some other data set of Iconos imagery uh, just select the near infrared band use the inquiry cursor to note down the values and specify this condition and save the output so let's have a quick revision of what we did <clears throat> uh, we studied about GIS and remote sensing model like the model we have made land water mask that these model they are used to uh, create something uh, and that model can be repetitively used uh, a user does not have to uh, create the function again and again just save your model change your input and specify your output you can run the model on multiple images GIS remote sensing model and they usually uh, reduce your task or you uh, reduce your burden by automating a process a DOS model maker interface we have seen a basic how to add the images functions and output we made some simple model NIR divided by 100 then we made a complex model that is separating land from uh, water so this is all about the EDAS model maker thank you